All right. Here is the uh, sketchpad uh, how to. Now, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search sketchpad. Sketchpad. When I do that, this will come up and uh, click on the top first thing. There might be some sort of tutorial you gotta walk through, but okay. So a couple things. Right now we're on the arrow tool. That's to select things. There's a couple other tools. The only one other one we're gonna be using, I think, for today is the calligraphy. It looks like a feather. I'm gonna switch that to pencil. Now, if you've already used this program before or you want to make more drawings in this program when you go to new make sure you always select transparent that's a checkerboard pattern transparent is good um, if you do have older pictures they get saved automatically here like with chrome canvas also when you're going to save stuff you want to always make sure you save it as a png I'll explain more on that later. All right, so we're doing the three objects into basic shapes. So I'm going to just type in car. You want to choose something from the name. Fuzzy things are really hard to turn into shapes. If, you, if something's, it has angles, as you know, square quarters. <laughs> That would be easy. A house would be good. Uh, I'm not going to click on that. Okay, so I'm going to two finger tap so it opens up one of these things. And I want to copy the image. It's on my clipboard now. So when I go back to Sketchpad, I'm going to just make sure um, I'm touching, I've got the arrow thing going. I'm going to hit Control V. And that is to paste. So I'm going to write that down. CTRL plus V. And I've got my, my uh, car here. Okay, the next step is I'm going to go to the arrow again and select this car. And this three dot thing, the three dots will pop up. I want to go to style. Now I'm going to bring the opacity down to like 50, 60. That'll allow me to see through it, which is always fun. All right. Now I'm going to go back to the pencil. I just have to figure out what are the basic shapes here. I'm seeing a square right here, a rectangle. A rectangle. All right. So that's something. I also have uh, a, an ellipse here. And you think about these tires are actually cylinders. All right, I got a cylinder here. And then the body of the car, this is a, a rectangle. So in three dimensions, it's a like a rectangular prism, I believe it's called. Okay, right there. We've got ourselves a car made out of kind of looks like a kinda looks like a mattress <laughs> mattress car. Uh, and then the top part, um, you could say, is like a rectangular kind of boxy thing that has the sides cut down. All right? And then there's just this triangle right here. A bit triangle right there too. And you can have more details so that I know that the tire is here because I can see it. I'll put the tire in there and then there's lights. You can do the like, real lines if you want. A really important part is that you see and draw the basic shapes. Basic shapes that you see. 
Mm -hmm. That's kind of a squarish shape. Yeah, squarish shape right there. All right. Once I've done that, I'm going to go over to the uh, layers. It looks like lasagna or grilled cheese. Click on that. And if you go all the way down, this is a history of all the, the pencil marks. It's going to say image. You're going to unsee it. So we're left with something like that. Uh, now, once I have that, oh, if you mess up, the eraser tool on this is very bad. Um, so if you do something wrong and you don't like a line, say, say I did this and I don't like it. You can go to the arrow, so the select tool, and just select that one thing and delete it, which is pretty nice. Um, also, another shortcut um, is, um, I'll say this is paste, uh, to undo is control plus Z. That was a really good one. Okay, so you're done here turning your shape into basic shapes, or your object into basic shapes. You're going to go to export and save as a PNG file. So that's one, two, three, fourth down, download PNG. It'll download. That's it. Do that three times. And then uh, you'll be done with this. Uh, section of the assignment.